Question one. Why should someone vote for you in this primary? Well, I think that I've done a good job in keeping taxes down. I haven't raised them. In fact, they're 16 cents a thousand lower than when I took office almost four years ago. That's pretty hard. And we've done that by a lot of uh, staff reduction through attrition and getting employees to agree to um, uh, to pick up that slack. And I think... Uh, I think I, by far, had the experience to lead us through these more difficult times. Okay, question two. What is the one thing people need to know about you? One thing you need to know about me is I'm a hard worker, and I'm as honest as a day is long. I might not always tell them what they want to hear, but I'll always tell them the truth. I won't tell one person one thing and one person is different. Okay, and question three. Now, I don't want you to say anything, you know, bad about your opponent, at least unless, unless you feel like it, but but I want you to define yourself opposite your opponent. So the question is, how are you a better choice for the primary voters than Tom? I think I'm a better choice because, I, like I said, I do have more experience. Um, I have sat as mayor for four or almost four years this term, and my opponent has been on that council, and he's voted for every contract and every budget. And up until uh, the time he announced he was running, I never knew he had better ideas. And in fact, I still don't know what them ideas are. And bonus question. If, you, uh, if for some reason Tom wins the primary, will you continue to campaign actively on the Democratic line? Absolutely. I'll have the Democrat line, and... Um, that's a major party line, and I realize that primaries are a lot easier to lose in a general election because traditionally, absent a state or federal election, the turnout is usually quite a lot lower.